Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Hello there. What is up, Leak? It is your boy. It is its JP. And welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Yes, we currently mounted on the horse. I simp for very much so. It is Lenny. And we're currently going to do another video. Yes, we are, buddy. Yes, we are. But first things first, if uh, Lenny would like to stop still. There you go. Thank you, buddy. A uh, special uh, shout out to person on screen right about now. Yes, if editing JP has done his job, which I really hope he has, uh, they'll be on screen now. Because in one of my videos, they commented saying my intro literally has, it is, it's JPing it. And I found that absolutely hilarious that that's been my intro for God knows how long. And I hadn't noticed once. It's hilarious. Every time I, I'm going to edit now, I'm going to literally go laughing at myself. But uh, thanks for shouting that out. Uh, thanks for making me smile for once. Uh, so there you go. Free shout out. But anywho, just want to quickly say sorry for the last week of no content. It hasn't been really the best week for me, per se, personally. I've, you know, I've had some... Uh, let's just say things have been getting on top of me and I haven't really managed to control them as well as I thought I could and yeah but we're back on the grind hopefully 2k subscribers by the end of the year is still a goal of mine which we will achieve and hopefully we'll get more videos out isn't that right Lenny do you agree he agrees of course he does but anywho today's video you've seen the thumbnail and title it is uh, the matchup of the century um, it is basically probably two of the most well used and well known horses in this game compared against each other to see which one really is the best it is norfolk roadster versus tuckerman now the tuckerman was my favorite horse on up until the norfolk roasters were released then it's they switch places so the norfolk for me is number one tuckerman is second but really is there a difference between them do their stats really matter and do the tests i do really matter against these two big named horses or giants in the horse game in Red Dead Online. So first things first, we're going to go and get Mr. Crumpet and start with the Norfolk Roasters while we wait for Crumpet to arrive. How do you rate Sarah's new outfit? Uh, I spent like a couple couple of minutes putting this one together. Uh, please leave in the comments if you know if there's any way to improve. And I'll link my Insta right now if any of you Red Dead outfit creators want me to wear your outfit for a video or make your outfit. Uh, DM me on Insta and I'll try and get it done for you. But anywho, Mr. Crumpet, a.k.a. Lenny's brother. There he is, if he would like to stand still. Um, we'll go into first person, that makes sense. There he is. So, with the Norfolk Roadster, it is uh, $950 plus $125 horse insurance. And uh, is the Moonshiner Roll, so you can only unlock it if you have the Moonshiner Roll. Well, it's specific specifically level 20 for this version and obviously Lenny as well. So, if we go on to stats, uh, the Norfolk Roaster at level 4 bonding, remember, we're not cheating here. At level 4, you've got 7 health and 9 stamina. Now, the stamina is pretty decent up there. Health, you know, health could have been better. I mean, if horses could be bred in this game, I would totally breed a Norfolk Roaster with a higher health horse so we can get some more health. But overall, somewhat decent horse in terms of the basic stats. Then you've got speed and acceleration, which is, you know, maxed out at 10 and 9 for acceleration. That is due to the fact that it has the Nacho uh, saddle and the uh, hooded stirrups. Both horses have that, both breeds have that, so do not worry. So first things first, what test did I do for the Norfolk Roaster? It is the spook test. We go up against a prehistoric creature of an alligator and see how long it takes for the horse to book me and tell me to get eaten alive. And the Norfolk Roaster, or Crumpet specifically, took 6.03 seconds before he had enough and told me to get lost, essentially. Which is, um somewhat decent compared to other horses I own like the uh, the Brenton and the Gypsy Cobb they book me in seconds but this guy seemed to last a little bit longer than I thought and longer than I think it used to when I did the previous test with this um, gun fear test the gun fear essentially I get both go I get guns I shoot round the horse and I time it until the horse goes completely mental that's when I stop the timer uh, Norfolk Roaster came in at 9.12 seconds so essentially you know, you can go into that gunfight, you can go against bounties, and this guy isn't going to, you know, get scared that quickly. But he is going to get scared overall, over time. Now, the new test I did for the last video, which was um, the whistle time. I wanted to see if, between the breeds, if, um, if this really makes a difference. Is a breed more responsive than another one? 
So the whistle time for a Norfolk Roaster is 19.56 seconds. Bear that one in mind for when we bring out the Tuckerman. And then the speed, so essentially from A to B, you know the test by now if you're a regular, you know what uh, the route it is. And it took 48.29 seconds for the Norfolk Roaster to complete that. So overall, probably one of the best horses in the game, or aka the best horse in the game. And Crumpet, I know you feel like you get shadowed by your big brother Lenny. I know, I know you do. But I do love you the same. Don't worry. Look at you. You agree. He agrees. So thank you, uh, Crumpet, for showing yourself. I think a legendary has just spawned near me, but I don't care. Now, because we're going to bring out the Tuckerman. Now, I've got three of them now on my, uh, well, PS4 account. On Xbox, I have, you know, all six Norfolk Roasters. So it kind of makes sense. And the guy we're going to be talking about the Tuckermans with is Tyrannus. Yes, there he is, Tyrannus. He's a, he's a new boy to the block. Uh, you guys probably haven't seen him because I've recently purchased him and I've been bonding with him and he's absolutely gorgeous. Look at him. Beautiful. But anyway, Tuckerman, we have a look at his basic stats. So at level 4 bonding, again, we've got 10 health and 8 stamina. So really, if I could breed two horses together, it would be the Norfolk Roaster and the Tuckerman. Tuckerman for the health, Norfolk Roaster for the stam. And then we look at speed acceleration. Both have the same saddle and hooded stirrups attached. Uh, 9 speed and 8 acceleration. So slower, but I believe it has the same acceleration and I think they're both standard handling as well. So, 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 Tyrannus, how did you do in the JP horse tests? Well, we go to spook time, and it took him 4.35 seconds, so essentially two seconds quicker than the uh, Norfolk Roaster to spook against an alligator, which was uh, kind of surprised at. I thought the Tuckermans were a lot braver against, you know, prehistoric T-Rex looking things, but apparently not. I would be the same. I would run away, or get closer like an idiot but that's not the point gun fear now the gun fear was 9.09 .09 seconds thank you game i'll go sell my moonshine any second now um that was essentially the same as the norfolk roadster so essentially gun fear they're both the same there's no real difference whistle time now this is something i wanted to do as i said with the norfolk roadster i want to see if different breeds are more responsive turns out between norfolk roadster and tuckerman they are not because essentially it was 20.59 seconds so essentially it was a second less quicker to get to my whistle from the Norfolk Roaster than it is the Tuckerman so essentially no difference there I will try it with other breeds down the line and the speed now the speed is probably one of the ones Tuckermans are used for in this game and it was 49.09 seconds so again roughly a second and 20 slower than a Norfolk Roaster but that's not really the point. Now, the pricing of this guy as well. Uh, this one specifically, I think it's $975 plus $125. And then the extra four coats that you got. They're $1,000 each and plus 40 gold for the black one. And again, $125. So essentially, is there a real difference between Norfolk Roaster and Tuckerman? Uh, Stat-wise and test-wise, there is not. There's not really a big difference. But why do I prefer the Norfolk Roaster? I just I have more of an attachment to the horse. I like the coat colours. I mean, you see how I am with Lenny. He's literally my little baby and I love him to bits. And I generally feel that some of the stats, even though they're near enough the same, are worth it in a Norfolk Roaster than a Tuckerman. I mean, Tuckermans have been in the game since the game has been released, so... I generally do feel the Norfolk Roasters are better just by, like, if I was saying out of 100, like, 95% better. And the Tuckermans are like at 90%. So they're not really that far difference. But overall, the Norfolk Roaster in my test has proven to be just slightly better than a Tuckerman. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you do have any other horses you want me to compare, maybe, you, you know, you might say, you do Norfolk Roaster versus uh, Missouri Fox Trotter, for example. Leave in the comments. I'll try and get those tests done. I know people like these videos. I do. So I hope you enjoyed. As I normally say, please subscribe, like, all of the dislike. Let's try and hit 2k subs but before this year ends. And I'll see you guys uh, hopefully maybe in the next two days with another video. Stay safe. See you later. And take care.